Hey everybody and welcome back for another episode of Tiny Tina and the Tenacious Testicles. I am Rockley Smile and we've got Alpaca Patrol, Last Grey Wolf, and Bear Taffy back by request. How's it going everybody? Oh man. I'm not you know, ready for that man. <laughs> you gotta get I take like small leaves of absence and I, I'm never prepared for Tiny Tina's <laughs> testicular torsion. <laughs> That's not what I said, oh, but you're just okay, know, too. I see, you know, she's got testicular torsion. I would never want... Have you guys heard, actually, what testicular torsion is? Oh, I is? saw the it Scrubs awful. episode. It's awful. Oh, that it's sounds good. bad. Yeah. Anything involving your testicles and not lightly fondling is probably to the whole worst thing. I just said tenacious, yeah, though, so, like, I don't know. It doesn't you did matter. say that, yeah. Tenacious D. Tenacious, tenacious testicular D. torsion. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's their fourth album. <laughs> I also do want to say, uh, since this is kind of a rare occurrence on my channel these days, and it's pretty much my fault because these guys invite me all the time and I'm just an asshole, uh, <laughs> this is a regular series that happens over on Rob and Nick's channel, and I'm lucky enough to be a guest sometimes. So you guys should definitely go check them out. Link's in the description. There's like 180 so. episodes of this. Yeah. Yes, there are. <laughs> and like there are talking. just as many in-jokes as well. So Yeah, there's a lot if of If you're them. a new viewer, welcome to You Won't Understand Any of This, hosted by <laughs> us four. My cannolis. You know yeah, what's great about the Magic Series? My, my, the great part about the Magic Series to me is that we have a lot of in-jokes, yeah, but we have a lot of in-jokes that happen before the episodes begin, so they're in-jokes <laughs> right. that not even they're the viewers should get to enjoy. Okay. Yeah, they don't even get to enjoy them. Like, we just say them, and they just accept it as like, oh, that's just some other random bullshit that these fuckers are saying now. Yeah. And we keep getting comments that are like, man, I really wish that you guys just played anything but Magic. I would so love to watch this. And we're like, you know what? We're just going to play Magic again, but only for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys really make a five-minute episode? No, the game was five minutes long. The episode was oh. an hour and a half long. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the worst one in like recent memories. Oh, last but episode. it had some of the best conversation. It was I really it good. Did. It did. Yeah, yeah. It was. We it discussed was Twitch and streaming. Nobody's watching this series for the magic. I mean, yeah, that's, you, that's say that, yet. you say that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We we do get the comments a lot sometimes though. And but, those people, I'm sorry, but there's probably some other more magic related episodes on Twitch that you can. Are there watch. other like long running four player magic series on YouTube? I so don't know. Four Strategy did magic, I think every Friday or something, but I think he actually just plays the game. So more like every Monday and Friday, am I right? Hey, oh, that's the well, that's the schedule for our series. Friday yeah. is oh, like I thought he was just like day. making an observation. <laughs> with <Jill>. like, <laughs> yeah, he does. He sure does. <laughs> he really does do it. <laughs> Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, you're really bringing out a gauntlet. That yeah, that's, that's an old one. That's an old one coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. I'm just trying to think of all like the ones I can remember, but they're so uh, you forget them like almost instantly as they start. It's sure, actually it's a pattern of, of thinking. You'll just fall into it and figure them yeah. out. You're so, thinking of ones that were from the last time I was here. I think. Well, were you part of I Love I think you oh, came yeah. in after episode I came after in after right I when you, I yeah. Love You was starting to. Were you to, part you know, of I Love You? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a new U2 album. Such a unique experience to our series. <laughs> I love I Love You. I love, God damn it. I'm trying to figure out all your uh, new decks here. I'm still rocking my, my classic, this is the deck I made and then never went back into the deck builder deck. <laughs> Yeah. I, I eventually, like, I made a new deck that I had to play because these guys bitched and moaned about uh, Inferno Titan for a while, and then uh, and then Austin wouldn't switch his deck, and so I was like, you know what, fuck it, Inferno Titan Goblin deck's coming back. Yeah, but <laughs> Inferno Titan's banned, legally? Yeah, it's, it's not banned, though. Like, I don't understand why... I think my win rate when I actually play Inferno Titan is actually quite low. Well... In all seriousness. I think the only time I can remember where you lost the Inferno Titan is when I also had Inferno Titan. Mm. And I stole your other Inferno Titan. Yeah, that was dick. <laughs> that was dick. <laughs> that, that was dick. Some, that was some that, dick. That was that was dick. <laughs> uh, Bear seems to be advocating for the beast currently. Oh, yeah. What's all this He's, about? I'd like to give you all a pamphlet if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, well. The leaflet for it. Do you want me to kill There's that thing? Oh, Maybe. is it Death Touch? <laughs> Ah, that was dumb. All right. Yeah, go ahead and kill it. All right. Get rid of the death touch, I guess. That's fine. That's like a that's like a freaking Hearthstone style trade right there. Yeah, you should have just go. said like, oh, like uh -oh. oh, yeah, I do, I do want you to kill it. Oh yeah, yeah that would have messed me up. 
Yeah, I do. I want you to. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of walruses <laughs> mating or something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like in Magic the Gathering, those are the Planeswalkers. It's like Jamie Heineman's walruses and Batman, all in a oh dark pit together, all God. sweaty. That was a lot of words. That, that, was... <laughs> that might have been too much. I don't know if there's ever a joke or reference that's had too much, but you might have achieved that, I think. <laughs> that was too much there. Uh, you know, let Dracula feed us animated or something. Yeah, that's fine. You'll just animate heads exploding in the audience. <laughs> I was you contractually uh, obliged to say that. <laughs> you can't <laughs> fucking make up for it now. I'm man. trying to get rid of them now so we don't have to do them on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say. Oh, for a point of reference, uh, go listen to the last episode of Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Deals of the Planes Walkers 2014. You mean Magica. 15. You mean the round table podcast that we did. No, no, no. I was saying yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> not only does the audience not get it, but Robin Austin <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, we didn't get it at all, yeah. I'm just laughing along, man. I'm pretending. I want to feel yeah. part these of this. These are in-jokes for me and Bear only. I don't want oh, okay. Robin yeah. Austin to get these. Fair enough. You should just make it in-jokes for each individual person, you so then they just this. become jokes. You mm -hmm. can never get this. You, you can never win. We should all just get our own in-jokes. Yeah. It's our own personal no, in -jokes. damn it. Don't do that. We should go, go back. At, at the end of this episode, we should all go write one in-joke and then come back the next episode and uh, try and sneak in the in-joke at some point and then the other people have to guess if that is the in-joke that they wrote. Is it gonna a game? Luck is a skill you have to learn. What? God damn it. A scrub <laughs> is a guy that can't get no love from me. Ah, I'm really letting you know that part of the song. Rob, look up <laughs> look up the last part of the song and then sing <laughs> that part. Not going to do or that. Or part that's not the chorus. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going not gonna to do that. That's another in-joke that people don't understand either. Uh, so we a... did we did karaoke when we were at PAX, and one of the songs was No Scrubs, and Rob chose to sing it, but he forgot that there's a whole like speaking part at the end of that song. And then it just kind of fell apart at the end. He also forgot that there was verses to the song. Yeah, I oh, just yeah. thought the whole I did song too, was actually. the chorus. Turns out that song songs aren't just choruses. Well, actually, I shouldn't Some say are. that because really Some modern pop songs are pretty much just choruses. So yeah, so I was fired at modern pop. I hope they're not watching. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good, modern pop stars. We're going to have like Taylor oh. Swift in the comments like, hey. God damn it, Taylor Swift. <laughs> so Stop so watching sad. our videos. <laughs> It's a hey dot 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 and then a frowny <laughs> face <laughs> from the official Taylor Swift YouTube account. <laughs> At official Taylor Swift Vivo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should, apparently Taylor Swift is a very nice lady. And, uh, I, I, I don't agree. That. Yeah, I Did think you meet her when you were on site at Harrison Ford's plane crash? <laughs> You really? saw the bones got... all over the sidewalk. Yeah, little... that's another one of those before the episode even started in jokes. Yeah, you're keeping yeah. track at home. God damn, guys! Bones. Bone puker. <laughs> bone puker. What are you saying? What it's is the, the word? Puker of bones. He puked up some bones. He's a bone puker. Can you even puke up bones? Like you'd have to. Owls can. can... Well, they're not their bones. I want you to answer all questions with owls can from now on. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not technically wrong most of the time. He's running for, like, a president, and you're in a debate, and it's like, uh, how do you plan on, you know, reforming some of the foreign policies regarding uh, Iran uh, in these next coming years? Uh, well, owls can. <laughs> so, so, obviously, I can quit. I mean, come on, it's owls. No, you just you say kind of off-kilter. You say, owls can. You look like you're fucking crazy. Then you turn around and, and shut your mouth, and that's the end of that. <laughs> you're still up at the pulpit, but you're just not. Your back is turned pulpit. to the audience. And you're just silent. <laughs> the That's podium? The only thing to say for the whole thing. You're up at the podium, aren't you? Are we giving pulpit. a speech or are we in an interview? The pul podium. It, it's whether pulpit we're at word. church or whether we're at like a lecture hall. Man, pulpit no, no, and no, podium you, are, are interchangeable. Are they? No, you, you, could say, you could say pulpit for yeah for political things. Yeah, pulpit it's isn't the, a specifically religious term. Pulpit. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like uh, the whole FDR thing was, or the, oh. the the Theodore Roosevelt is the bully pulpit. All right. Well, I learned it's a thing. FDR owned a pulpit. Pulpit yeah. sounds like some guy who's trying to be way too cool. Who thinks orange he's juice. fly, gonna, also known as a buster. <laughs> he's just like, hey, why don't you pulpit? You know. I think uh, I think we're getting to the levels of pulpit uh, like frequency that I don't hear the word pulpit anymore. I don't even. I prefer know what orange juice that. without pulpit. <laughs> Let's just repeat pulpit until it loses all meaning. We have already. 
Oh yeah, we have. Pulp it. Stop pulp it. Stop it. Pulp it. Stop it. Pulp it. Hey. Pulp it. Hey. That's like a bop it move. Stop it. It's also a Pokemon. Filibuster. Pop it. Political pop it. I want political bop it in my life. I want to play that game. I want to play that game. What did it do? Bear, why do you not come on this show? See how much fucking fun yeah. we have? Yeah, exactly. Are you serious? I'm you don't come on this? When you fucking invite me. Like I Get said, here. I'm monitoring my house as soon as I leave my bedroom. Magic? Oh, you want to go? Oh, you're not here. Oh, sorry. We got to record now. <laughs> Well, Rob did ask me like an hour and a half ago, to be fair. <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah. But apparently you were eating dinner. I was. Eating yeah, dinner? That is true. Yeah, See, I gave him your story and everything dinner. like a good friend. Mm hmm Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you were just a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, this is quite the Ohms race we got going on here, boys. Well, yeah. So I got one creature. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's going to be a like a fierce raging battle in the comments about whether or not pulpit is a religious term? Yeah, Austin, pick a number between one and three. Seven? Oh fuck! I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> then I guess. All right. Goofed. Well, since you failed to do that. No! <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. I'm sorry. <laughs> between one and three, seven. <laughs> also known as a buster. Uh, Actually, oh. I'm on. Uh, I go to the subreddit that's uh, crappy design. Whoa, you got rid of prevent all damage this turn? Well, yeah, print all that two damage to my 2-1. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. Or oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but, um, uh, what was I, I going to say? I was going to say you something. You go to the design fails. Oh, right. yeah, okay. Design, yeah. So there was there was one where it was like, uh, like, uh, how would you rate, like, you know, North Carolina's handling of the something-something situation <laughs> in the Middle East? And, and like, and, and like, and, 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 like, judge it. Yeah, it was, it's, it's a ridiculous question. And on top of that, it said, um, you know, uh, rate it one to nine. Okay, so they, they went no. to rate it one to nine, Why? right? And, and here's the thing. <laughs> is they didn't rate it one to nine on like a scroll bar or like a number that you could put in or anything. They had it as a list and they printed out all of the words specifically. So it was like, it was like one, two, three as like a different <laughs> bullet point that you could, that you could check. And here's the best part. It wasn't, it wasn't in like one, two, three, four order. It was in alphabetical order. Oh my, and, oh my God. And then on top of that, there was a 10 in there. There was also a 10. <laughs> Yeah. That seems like, like a reading comprehension quiz more so than yeah, a pull really. <laughs> Can you follow directions? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, I, we all had those quizzes, right? Where the teacher would like, them? the first day they'd hand out that quiz. It's like a hundred questions long, but the very like the very beginning yeah. instructions say, "Don't, Don't do any, any of this these. quiz. Yeah. Write your yeah, name on it." Hand I remember in. that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that but was... they give it away when the first kid walks up. Yeah. Yeah, but then the first kid never walks up, and everyone's nervous to be the first kid that walks up because they're like, "Is this uh, actually what I'm supposed to do? What, what do I do? Everyone else is writing down. Oh no, I should write down." I still remember one of the most like badass moments I've ever had in school at all is uh, I, I was taking this psychology course at all, <laughs> at all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, at all, all together, at all, uh, at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. But um, but anyway, so I was taking this psychology course, and um, and. It's a very difficult course. Like I think, like sixty to seventy percent of the people take it twice because they fail the first time around. And uh, I was like really fucking going hard on that course. Like I like super studied for this test, this exam. And then I get down, I sit at the desk for the exam, and uh, I'm just in the fucking zone. Like I don't see anything. There's no like I just fucking tunnel vision on the test. And I I finish it, and I'm the first one in class to finish it. And I, I, I finish it, and I, I, I like proofread my notes, and I, I walk up to the teacher, hand it in, and walk out. And then uh, I find out that I actually finished the test in like like nine minutes or something, or like eight or nine minutes. And uh, I was like the highest score in the class. Everyone else finished like 45 minutes later. And I wow. was like, yeah, I'm a fucking badass. 
You're so Don't. good, dude. Did you, like, really. snort a bunch of coke or something? Like, how did <laughs> you do that? I was just in the fucking zone. You know, like, sometimes you just get in the zone. The auto the zone. Auto zone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, this has and, all just been a long-winded fucking periphrasis of a commercial that Rob just threw away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's periphrasis? Like, <laughs> Reference's. Yeah, I just kind of accept it. I don't. Like, can you stop better. using words that I don't fucking Wait, know? Like, I know a lot really of words. Stupid. I think my vocabulary is pretty good. I've never heard of that one. Periphrasis. It's like a long-winded story that doesn't really need to be such. That's a fantastic word. I like it. Yeah. I like it too because it dovetails from the idea of periphery, which is a word I do use regularly. So that's actually mm-hmm. got a decent shot at showing up in my vocabulary. Thank you. Oh, vocabulary lessons with magic 2015. <laughs> <laughs> You've learned stupider shit than that here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I really want to make political bop it a thing, man. That is incredible. <laughs> I really love political bop it. Redistrict. <laughs> <laughs> Gerrymander. Super PAC. <laughs> <laughs> You just win if you get super bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the golden snitch. It pops out of the machine every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh man, yeah, I got invited to do. Actually, maybe I'm not allowed to talk about this, so never. You got mind. invited to play political bop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm invited to play political bop it. Dude, why didn't you tell? Uh, us? He's getting a dev kit political bop it. <laughs> I'd test that out. Did it? I'll beta test your political bop it if you know oh. what I'm saying. Hey-o. That has to be the most convoluted uh, euphemism that's ever been spoken by anyone. <laughs> There is nothing that relates in any way to any kind of sex act, but it still is a euphemism because that's where we live these days. You don't call your dick a bop it? I mean, you do bop like, Especially it when you're bullet. having sex. That's the best time to do it. I don't I know if really I'd ever... To bop it, yeah. I don't know if I... You just grab it by the shaft and just bonk the head. They should actually... Why don't they have sex bop it? Like, you just, you just like, attach, like, a little speaker to your penis, and it's like, suck it! <laughs> Wait, yours doesn't have a speaker? Kiss it! <laughs> Tap it! Can Tap you imagine it. they put a little bit, like, like a little tiny microchip inside of the urethra somewhere, and it, like, magnified oh, sound? Oh. <laughs> it would shoot, like, a loud whirring sound. When you talk about putting stuff into your urethra, I just become a Gungan. And I, can't handle it. I was gonna say, we found your Gungan trigger. <laughs> exactly. Everyone Gungan has trigger one. warning. No urethral stuff. <laughs> Gunkins hate this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't even think anything we've said makes sense. Hey, you're somewhere the, today. The best jokes are the ones that aren't even meant for anyone but yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a good yeah. line to live by. Yeah. 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 You making fun of me, motherfuckers? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm making yeah. fun of myself, actually. Oh. Sound choice. Yeah, sound, sound choice. Sound choice. That's another karaoke reference. Yeah. That's it. Is a karaoke. All right. Reference. So the best part of karaoke for me was not only listening to Northern Lion do Wild Wild West, but the fact that that video had nothing to do with Wild Wild West. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, you know, that was the best part of it. Yeah. And then also the Sweet Caroline video was really fucking weird. Because, like, it seemed like it was specific to Sweet Caroline, but it was not about, like, some girl that he had, like, a love affair with. It was about, like, a young girl, like, peeping on old men on the beach. And it was, like, real weird. It was. Sweet Caroline. That was basically what we were doing for. Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. We can just yeah, sing Sweet Caroline and get ourselves some kind of content. You kind of just, matches. like, black out for the verses, and then when the <laughs> chorus comes, you're like, oh, this week, yeah. <laughs> We would play that over the uh, over the VA at the hockey games, and <laughs> the crowd would, that, they would do that exact same thing. So they'd just of be, course, like, you know, yeah. bobbing their head through the verses, and then everybody together, Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. It's so Bob good. It. It would be yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> Sweet Caroline, <laughs> suck it. <laughs> I mean, that's Stroke kind of the subtext of the whole song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. basically, yeah. Uh, oh, who's gonna get the strongest? If you mess yeah, with the bull, you get the horns. That's a thing I know. You mess yeah, with that's the an expression. Beast, you get Nick's the, been like yeah, quietly yeah. beating the shit out of me this whole game. I don't yeah, know if you noticed that. I don't think anyone wants to do anything about that. No. Yeah, not really. I, I don't. I don't really have any means to do anything. Nobody else is doing anything to you. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's true. Good I'm just glad I finally have a creature to not block your creature with. It's real nice. 
You could block okay. it if you want. I'm not going to stop you. If I can hot soup, I can't block it. Block it's, it. The no, soup's you can block the other one. The soup's too hot. No, block not it. the other one. Oh, the other one didn't have hot I thought they both had hot soup. I just assumed. Ah, uh, there's only so much hot soup to go around, really. No, that's a trap, though. You're going to kill it, and then you're going to do the thing. And it's a trap. Yeah, that's true. Unless you're bluffing Got the trap. But I know you have, like, both of the cards in your hand are flesh to dust. They could flesh be. They might not be. Flesh to dust. Flesh to dust. Flesh to dust. Flesh to dust. If you're not flesh to dust. In a video game for the first time. You're durst. Like that one durst guy who killed somebody. Yeah, he went to Did jail. he kill someone? Yeah, oh, he killed yeah. Oh, yeah, like the the, the Durst. Not Doug Fred Durst. Durst. Yeah, D yeah, Doug Durst. It's his brother or something. <laughs> Doug Durst. Dick Durst. Dick Durst Dirty Durst. Durst. <laughs> Big Dirty Dick Durst. <laughs> Dirk Nasty the Durst. Dick Diggler Dirty Durst. Dirty Durst. Dirk or Jobs. Dick the dirt. Oh, that fucking rapidly devolved. <laughs> oh, this is, gonna, this is gonna hurt a lot, I think. Uh, it's mainly gonna hurt Nick a lot, to be honest. Oh, okay. You guys could stop it right now if you want. Nick's just dead, actually, maybe? Oh, no. oh this right. is classic Austin kills me for yeah, full no, health. <laughs> full health, yeah. yeah. Alright. Fuck. Oh, all yeah. You. This is great. Wow. Sorry, Nick, you. Oh, look, he's almost got all his health back, too, so all the damage I did didn't even count either. Yeah, yeah, I love that, Dick. <laughs> Nick, was, look, Nick was hitting me, alright? That was, that was completely. You wanna know right. why I was hitting you? Because of the shit you just did to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true. What did you do? I uh, have a lot of enchantments. He got a uh, Viscopa Guild Mage and won the game. That's what that card does. I, that's not how that. Don't worry about that's, that. That's how that works. That's not how that works. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's one other step. It's not how that works. You have to get the card, then you have to tap the card, and then you win the game. Mm. Oh, okay. It's a three step process, not two. You actually don't even tap Viscopa Guild. All right, well, I mean, like maybe I was exaggerating. I wanted to give <laughs> Austin the benefit of the doubt, so it's a two step process. You can benefit my doubt, but. Yeah, I don't want to benefit your doubt. Uh, Let's try this dude, out. Benefit my doubt. Hey. Benefit Mrs. Doubtfire? Don't do it. It's, a, it's a benefit for Mrs. Doubtfire? Two? Okay. That's oh, at least shit. More valid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, see? Oh. What? See? Too soon. What? What? What, was, what was too soon? Uh, you can't make Robin Williams jokes. Oh, I thought I was like attacking Austin too soon. No, <laughs> you can attack him better. as soon as possible. Okay. You attacked me too soon. Sorry. And I thought when you said the benefit for Mrs. Doubtfire was that you understood what I meant it was too soon. Mm -hmm. So you reformed your joke to actually be slightly more sensitive. Mm. sensitive. Now I think you just bummed yourself right out. Sensitive. Sensitive. When you look at the board, do you see, like, the Bank of America logo? Because I do. I see the Bank uh, of Smazel America. I mean, I can see why you might see the Bank of America logo, but I don't actually lines. see lines. Yeah, I mean, but the Bank of America logo is the American flag, and this well, is a very lacking of color. It's sort of like if you had the Bank of America logo, but then it, like, glitched out. It might look like this. Yeah. Like the world's shittiest Rorschach test. Mm. <laughs> Um, more like well, I'm sort of at a loss as to what to do. Well, we're playing magic. You could All sing right, "Sweet Caroline." Point. I mean, "Sweet Caroline." Car Caroline. <laughs> Caroline. If you'd like you could Sweet. sing "Sweet Caroline." <laughs> Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Look, hello, Robert. Would you like to play magic? <laughs> You can make fun of my um, emphasis. Bear, if I reflection. kill Austin, Bear, if I kill Austin, do I get like one turn of? I'll of immediately play? attack you. Yeah. yeah. Then he's gonna, <laughs> if I don't do that, he's gonna win. Don't so, play like, second place. All well, right. I don't want to play second place. Did, I did play, you don't play like, second place? You've already made right. a decision. Bear gives me a turn to. Everybody, calm play. down for a second. I died already for you. I'm your martyr. No one can take fourth. Just That's enjoy. True. Just fucking enjoy it. We all Did, have podium placements, man, I, so just take like, solace in that. I guess I could play. I mean, like, I either get Rob, second place I can't, or no I can't, place. like, attack anymore because Ignore of Ignore fucking... Austin and do what you think is right. <laughs> what does your heart tell you? Look, Bear, Rob, he's playing you. He's a bear. He plays games. All right? I'll do, I'll do a temper. Austin's literally the devil. Wow. <laughs> it's half measure. You there's killed, such a good okay, little... You, there's you a just, bear on Twitter that I love so much and it's like it's just it ends every tweet with I'm a bear and it just <laughs> all the tweets are like I found a stick today 
Also found lots of moss. Thought about my feelings. I'm a bear. <laughs> it's so good. Oh you I love that Twitter. What Twitter handle that is. I will. I be, that after, after I'm done with this, I will, but I can't leave the window yet. <laughs> oh. Schlamazel. No, if I, well, if I focus away from the window, then it'll stop recording. I can't oh. Rob just we can't have that. No. Damn, fisted me. I don't understand what the issue is. Very important that the viewers see this. You fisted me right in the ham. I really, I did. I fisted you right in your oh. ham. How much land do I have? Eight. More like great. Would fist it be on sexual bop it? Fist it. Yeah, definitely. Lick it. Well, actually, Suck no, it. because if we're talking about like Hold sexual it. bop it where it's attached to the penis, no. Yeah, so we'd have to have male and female sexual bop it. Yeah, what is that nonsense. Kill your creature because you're being mean. Oh god damn right. it! Take a bunch of damage. What? No, no one took any. Oh damage. right, yeah, because of the not the thing yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> not the thing yet. You killed my only way with lifelink, Rob. I don't know why yeah. you made that decision so hard. You literally hampered any damage I could do. Well, yeah, I, I realized that as well afterwards. <laughs> Dear my just, day, you know, sure. But I mean, you could still get like now you could get like a lone missionary and I think just win or kill one of us or something. Uh, Is that part of the sex boppet no. too? The lone missionary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> two lone so. missionaries would uh, be enough to kill any one of us. It's for life. And yeah, and and you took away the one that hits everyone, eight. so it, it would only be one of you, and it would need two. Um, yeah. So it's it's very unlikely. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we could talk about Sweet Caroline some more if you want. Sweet Caroline. I don't understand. Uh, Am I saying it wrong? Because the second time I feel like I didn't say it wrong. It's Caroline. It's Caroline. Not Car it's like you're you're like you're putting emphasis on like the wrong part of the word for an English speaker. Sweet Caroline. It's yeah, like it's South Carolina, Carolina but, it, but it's yeah. Caroline. Well, but the emphasis is still right on South Carolina because it's no, that's the, what I'm saying is that's the dissonation you have to make between right. Carolina and Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Rob, what's that word that's like slightly scandalous when a whole bunch of things go wrong? It's like maybe slightly politically oriented, and it rhymes with like the box you carry when you go fishing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a, that's you seem a, to know it. I think you're just <laughs> quizzing him. That's a debacle. That's the one. Yeah, it's one of the <laughs> one of the debacles. Of, of How do we generation. pronounce that word again? Might be one of the funniest magic episodes. <laughs> debacle. Ever the tackle. It's like a chewing tobacco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Rob says tobacco. It's so good. It's, it's, it's like nice. my favorite thing. It's a good time. Tobacco. I really, I really tobacco like that. Tobacco. Do, do, well, no, I say, say, say that it's yeah, a debacle. A normal fucking person. <laughs> well, actually, no. Mall gives me shit for saying mayonnaise. Right? It's oh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. Right. Mayonnaise. Oh, you're okay. definitely wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 no, but here's the thing. We were watching an episode of Parks and Recreation, and mayonnaise was a, a topic of discussion, and all the characters said mayonnaise. And she was like, it's mayonnaise! I'm like, no, I'm right, motherfucker! People say it like that! Rob, so, I want to let you in on a little secret about writing, and <laughs> okay. that is people write scripts to be particular about specific things, meaning right. they were. it was a joke. And no, no, it, everyone it knows it's pronounced mayonnaise. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Everyone, everyone knows it. You just said mayonnaise. That's the way that that uh, that Austin it. says it. It's it mayonnaise. gives you literally five seconds to pick a card, and I just had to panic pick a card, and it wasn't even the right card. Yeah, yeah that's yep. like the one timer that just depletes rapidly in this game. Yeah, I don't know why. It's I literally like, have to that's... look through my entire deck one at a time, and I have ten seconds to do so. And it doesn't I even give you the card. specific cards, right? Like, doesn't it, it doesn't give you? Uh... Oh no, for a uh, for a card. Okay. Right, you know, it's awesome. any card, but I needed time in order to uh -oh. get the card I wanted, and it just wouldn't give it to me. So I, I had to just pick a random card that was good that I could quick click fast enough. It was uh, it was unfortunate. Yeah, I've been there, man. Yeah. I haven't. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nick is dead. Nick's pretty dead. I don't know if you guys Nick's are. Did I one of your own cards? Sure did. Well, yeah, he had to. So you could rise from the grave. Right from no, the... no. <laughs> Not allowed anymore. Stop that one. I can't do that? <laughs> no. Ban from tournaments. I thought I was allowed to do that. Nope. <laughs> All right. Against Sorry. the law.
That's is against the law. <laughs> that, that button exists, by the way. It does, yeah. Link that I, I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, there's the freeze made it. Uh, that's against the law button. Man, I don't like how many Krenko's command cards you have. I don't have any, really. I really hate. Like, I think I could have actually won on this turn if I would have gotten the card I wanted, and I just didn't get it. Yeah, no, I would have won on this turn. Fuck this game. Yeah, goddamn. I can't win instantly and kill two <laughs> it's people bullshit. at the same time. That's one of my cards. It's fucking ridiculous. It didn't <laughs> give it to me, dude. The one out of 40 cards in my deck. It's bullshit. Oh, me. Leave me alone. Yeah, my name's Austin. This game's bullshit. I play Slayer Ranger. Wait, are you actually <laughs> upset that you've won, like, every game in the last That's several weeks? That's not true. I lost, like, the last two, I think. How many have I, I won? None. Rob has been winning a bunch. You probably, I don't think you've won any, actually, Nick. But Rob has been winning a bunch. What is that a Fido Titan? It's all been who's trying to fight you, and then the, the one that cleans up after them. Yeah, that's basically how it goes. Except for the last episode. The last episode was me just, like, wrecking that, both of them. And yeah. I just don't give a shit, so I usually just put my neck on the freaking chopping block because I just want to get something going. Yeah, that's like, fair. Blopping pop. Oh, come on, man. He's got one card in his hand. I know, which is why it makes a lot of mathematical sense to pick you. <laughs> uh, shit. Please. You know, what if that, that one card was intentionally very important and he left uh, it there for a reason? No, I had a hankering that might be the case, but I figured I'd probably be better off doing that. You made the right decision. The card I have in my hand sucks. Yeah. Goblin Rabber Master. Goblin Rabber Master. Yeah. Oh, yeah master of Rabbling. Ribble Rabble Master. Rabble Rabble Rabble. Ribble Rabble Master. Rabbly ribbly rop. Ribbly rabbly rabbly rabbly. Have you guys seen? Oh man, have you guys seen the uh, the Tyler the Creator interview on the Eric Andre show? No, that sounds oh, good. The the only thing I've seen from the Eric Andre show is the uh, Chiquita banana intro. I don't oh, know. That's if a good you've one. Seen that that's that a good one, is though. my favorite thing that exists in the world. I think. <laughs> Chiquita banana, Chiquita banana, Obama. That's you got the bananas, you get the gorilla. <laughs> What? That's from Mirror Mask. Nobody seen that oh, movie. Oh, I'm not. But yeah, no. Uh, Chiquita Banana, Chiquita Banana, Obama is. If you haven't seen that, I think you just look up Chiquita Banana on YouTube. Well, Eric. I think we're gonna use this opportunity just to say you shouldn't be watching this and instead go watch the Eric Andre show. Yeah, it's real good. I've never actually even heard of that. To be, totally I'm surprised you. you haven't. Yeah, seriously, I, don't I am. Really get out much? You were so, so enthusiastic about it a second ago. <laughs> I no, I, yeah, Rob. What did I do? You said you've never heard of the thing you were just excited about a second ago. That's all. No, I said I, that sounds great, but oh. I've never, yeah, I've never heard Based of it. Based on the man's name being Eric Andre. <laughs> Pretty sure you guys um, actually both die. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, right with that's that. what happens. Yeah. Um. I don't think there's well, anything you can do. Probably not. Well, fuck it. To eat a chiquita, know, you got to grow the banana. What? I got a Phyto Titan. Bloodhound gang. There you go. Oh, you gave me the boost. Yeah, whatever. Use the fuck boost it. to get through. Oh, God, you really need to fucking change your stupid shitty deck. <laughs> it's, like, so annoying. I feel like there's okay, some... Cool. Basically ruined the whole series. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, Austin, if you wanted to just be look at Austin's big dick, we could call it that, if that's what you want it to be named. <laughs> I mean, I'll yeah, change the title that. if that would make you feel better, yeah. Austin, is that what you want? Do you, do you want that, maybe, Austin? Maybe you guys just suck at this game. Wow. Yeah, I said Wow. It. I fucking I said could've, it. I could have taken second place on that one, yeah, you and could've. I could have killed you. And you didn't, because I talked you out of it, because I'm better than you. Mm. All right, man, do you fucking believe me now? He's <laughs> Lucifer every time <laughs> fucking kill his punk ass. <laughs> What do yeah, you think I, I was he, trying to do? You all sat there idly by while I died for your sins. I can bears <laughs> a wild Don't card act like you're I a fucking swim. martyr. I, you I, just called him I, Lucifer. <laughs> you took it there, not me. If I like, if I swang, swung, swang. Swung? If I swang, swang, if swang, if I swang, 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 swang my way. A bears a wild card. He would have killed me. Yeah. I was afraid. Look, everyone plays afraid. the win. I don't know why you guys get mad at me for that. I play to lose. Your fucking deck is bullshit. <laughs> That's why. Because fucking Sanguine Blood, you didn't even have to hit either of us, really. And you killed both of us and killed Nick at full health. You're like yeah. the guy that brings a blue control deck to Friday Night Magic with friends. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're like the guy it's that like, brings a blue well, controller to a party that he knows everyone else is going to have a blue controller, and then he takes their controller and says it's his. Yeah, You're that's like, a that, more that, accurate description. You're like the guy that spams techies every game. And nobody that's... knows what that means. Yeah, Rob, come on. Spamming techies. Well, Austin gets it. I get it, but... You're like the you're... guy that learns how to play Ryu only by learning how to do the Hadouken and then runs <laughs> to the back of your side of the stage and just Hadoukens until the other player quits. I, I actually, <laughs> that, that's, that's me. Run the timer out. <laughs> that's actually Rob. You're no, like see, me the guy... when I was 12 years old when I signed up for Yahoo Chess and I set up unlimited time limit games and I waited for high-ranked players to join the game and then I just didn't play and they quit <laughs> and I boosted my rank up. <laughs> This feels That's less you. and less about me, the more we go. <laughs> You're like that guy who sucks ass. <laughs> You're like that guy that goes to Barnes & Noble and scratches off all the scratch and sniff stickers in the back of the kids' books just so we can get off. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. You're like the guy that goes to McDonald's and orders 500 Happy Meals, takes all the toys, and then waits for all the children to come by and sees that they don't have any more toys and becomes sad, and you thrive off of it. <laughs> you took like our guy... innocence off. <laughs> You're like that guy who traded me uh, uh, Star Fox on the Super Nintendo for some shitty game, and then I never gave it back to him. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't Wait, even make like sense. <laughs> I'm just, I, just, I was hoping you guys were going to continue. I was taking this opportunity to just make a confession that I always wanted, <laughs> always wanted to make. I was hoping you guys were going to mull over oh. it and go on. You're like that guy who worked at the trading card store and I brought my misprinted pincer into him and he only gave me $4 for it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like that guy. Yeah. You're like that guy who thinks he's fly. He's also known as a buster. <laughs> you are like that guy, though, that like plays with Exodia in the Yu-Gi-Oh! card deck. Oh, yeah, he is and like that fucking guy, isn't he? It totally tries to what play is Exodia? That stuff. Like, that's a legit strategy. Fuck you. What is Exodia? I don't even know. If it's you like get the, five Exodia cards in your hand, you win the game. Not that I know that I ever use that or anything. You no, would oh, have yeah. that card. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who fucking nice goes to Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments at local malls <laughs> with the Exodia deck. Does That's that what, when they gave us all these new cards. One of the cards was like, if you get to forty life, you win. They and Rob was like, "That's banned," deck. and I said, "That's banned." Yeah, oh, that's instantaneously banned if you're gonna keep using that deck. Which I still contend that you should not still be using that deck. Um. You guys want to look at questions dick. from the last uh, episode? Of <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Twitch things now that we've got world famous GDC speaker uh, Bear Taffy here. <laughs> Travels the oh, globe. Fucking derpy deers! It was the Andy Griffith show, or Andy Griffith, <laughs> or Andy Griffith. Andy Griffin. Is is it Andy Griffin? I think no. I think Andy Griffin. Andy Griffith. Melanakis. Yeah, for, those, for those that don't know, the last episode. Or yeah. was someone whistled a tune and we didn't know what the tune was from? I did, yeah. And it was Andy Griffith's show. <laughs> yeah, that was Yakety Sax. <laughs> so uh, that's Benny Hill. Yakety yeah. Sax should have its own TV show. Yeah. Dude, don't whistle into the mic. He's whistling into the mic. Don't whistle into the mic, man. You're like that guy that whistles into the mic during the <laughs> recording. <laughs> Uh, okay, so someone says, why the hell are you guys so self-conscious about pooping slash peeing on the plane? There's a second <laughs> is part. really the first part? There's, there's a second part to the question, it's but the I feel not like the first, one. Part, the first part is very important. Why are you guys so self-conscious about pooping, peeing on a plane? Go. Because I'm not. Stand up. You stand up. Shut up, Barry. You stand, stand up, up to poop on the plane? <laughs> why do you... They don't have like a stand up to get out of your fucking seat, you bastard, all right? Slow yeah, you on You're your like seat that guy who takes a shit up. standing up on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go. <laughs> You're like that guy, you go spread eagle with your fucking feet up against the edges of the wall and suspend yourself in the air and let the shit just fall out of your ass all over the bathroom. And then just let them clean it up. Who cares? It's an airplane. Oh, there's a third part to his question. I think the real question is, does anyone go to the airplane toilet to jack off, or do they just do it under the blanket? Which, I like to, I just want to take just uh, wait. issue. 
I, now, yeah, I want to take issue okay. because you you've set up like an absolute uh, you know black and white here where you either jack off at the toilet or you <laughs> jack off under the blanket, and I f I feel like a third option is you don't jerk off on a plane like that. Could yeah, be where, that's where a busy this... person, man, who's only got time for jerking <laughs> off when he's on a plane. Look, look, where did this myth come from, where people think that they can get away with jerking off next to someone if they're under a blanket? Like, where, yeah, that's pretty. Gross. That's not possible. All right, it's, it's also. Not cool. It's perpetuated <laughs> by media. People think that if someone's got their head slightly turned away from you, that you could just do anything. And like Porn does off right it too. Now, but I can't be because you, you don't jerk off. You can't just like go with a conversation while you're jerking off. You got to be focused about it. You know, it's gonna distract you. I've never tried, but honestly, just don't do it. It's just gross. Right. That's the important part. And yeah. That'd be that'd be weird. So there you go. There's that's uh that's the question section of Magic the Gathering. Thanks for if watching. I remember somebody <laughs> called him out on it too. It was like, so are you saying you jack off on planes? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was mostly joking. Yeah, he said awesome. he was joking. I'm just saying it was funny. Somebody called him out on it. That's all. Yeah, that's true. Um, <clears throat> what's the weirdest place you've jacked off? Uh, on a plane. On the moon. <laughs> oh man, I don't know yeah, those answers. What would happen? Like, would your dick explode if you jerked <laughs> off on the moon? It always does. I think it, yeah, I think you're just, Oh, just it's smoke. true. You ever tried it? Yeah. It's great. Lots of times. Well, we'll have, if you're out in the vacuum of space, all the moisture inside of your body gets sucked yeah. out. So It, it already be. does. You know, there's that false quote from uh, Albert Einstein, that thing about if you keep doing something and expecting different results is the definition of insanity, then what the hell is masturbation all about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not expecting different results. I'm We're expecting, expecting the, the exact same, same result. Same oh, yeah. Over and yeah. over. Yeah. I didn't really I, think I'm, about that very hard. I'm down for the same result every single time. Yeah. I would be mad if I getting better every time. Every time. I'd freak the fuck out, dude. Yeah. Today, it's grape jelly. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that would be real interesting. I was saying like, there should be, like, designer cum. Like, you should get an injection. <laughs> and... Next question. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the guy that discussed designer cum on Magic <laughs> Episode. <laughs> Uh, so people asked, by the way, to uh, put on a like if we're gonna talk for a while, just put on a. Oh God, I can't go back. I forgot put on an about ogre. that aspect. Um, no, I'm supposed to. Oh, okay, no, I've made a terrible error. Never mind. Put on an ogre. Um, <laughs> no, I was supposed to put on a like a darker screen so it's easier on the eyes I to uh, to 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 watch. Well, yeah, you 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 can't, but uh, but I can, and they suggested I do that. So here's an adorable toucan. Um, <laughs> Still waiting for the now, sequel. Two no, on a three can. Two can two. No, it's a three can. Two can two. What's the next thing you're gonna say? I was gonna look at your your comment section because you said you yeah, had questions about Twitch. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that comment. I want the K10. I want the the three K10 can. K10 jelly. No. You're still K10 talking about jelly. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh... What you got? I'm trying. I'm trying to look. I'm looking what it over you, what here. You, what you got? What you oh, got? Oh, Timothy Catcher, also Andy Griffith In the Show. Rye? Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be an educated elementary school joke if, like, out on the playground, they're like, "Hey, right? Timothy Catcher in the Rye." <laughs> you an angsty teenager yet? No. Oh, we're eight. <laughs> okay. Here's a question. Hey, Nick. I remember you talking about how unhelpful, straight up positive comments are, and I usually just lurk on YouTube, Twitch because how silly comments can get. But I've always yeah, I think you that, did. That was just a compliment, wasn't it? I don't think yeah, there was a question there. It wasn't a question at all. Well, I was gonna say I, I was gonna bring up a question. Like, oh, okay, you you oh, think huh? straight up? Do you actually think straight up positive comments comments are <laughs> straight uh, up positive uh, condiments? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> mustard, ketchup. I don't think there's any negatives really. I don't know. I don't know if there's positives. About Relish them. is like, pretty positive. Like, what's the magnetic opposite of mustard? Oh, we're like, on what that would page. Mustard? Uh, yeah. Horseradish, hot dogs. Mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. It's actually a sound that a horse makes when you stroke its mane. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Just let that one percolate for the next 24 hours. Get right back to me. Gonna... With your uproarious laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I like percolate. I'm going to add that one. You know oh, that's a great oh, word. Yeah, percolate's great. I mean, that's I think I'll ever, I I mean, ever every... use that. Every syllabic like uh, like like uh, threshold in that word is a plosive, and it is just wonderful. You're obsessed. With That's plosives. true. Wow, well represented as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So I think positive comments are very useful for keeping your morale up when you have a bad day of, God, I'm so glad that you weren't on the Northern Line Live Super Show that day because it's so much better without you, and your <laughs> voice is like a fucking annoying monkey laughing, and... <laughs> Shit. Or yeah, man, like, so like every... the guy that uh, goes to Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments. And... <laughs> With the exploding yeah, we say that to your whatever. face, though. It's a lot better that way. Right, yeah, so, like, you see a bunch of those, and you're like, all right, I'm at negative 300 morale now. And then you see one of those, and you're like, you know what, plus 50 to that. So I yeah. feel a little better. So I appreciate them. And whether yeah. or not they have any value bearing on the criticism to the channel, it's just a happy thing to read, that's all. I like them. I think a lot of people may be reading uh, differently into how I interpreted it. I actually tweeted it out a little while ago, too. But uh, I mentioned on the podcast, the Roundtable podcast, that, uh, well, the phrasing I used was probably poor. But what I meant to say was that positive comments do very little to uh, assist the creator productively. And that I stand by because that's actually true. Like, it's just a positive yeah. comment. Obviously, it's awesome to get a positive comment that says, like, hey, great job on this. I liked it. But... Like, like, what I intended to say was, if I read that, that doesn't help me to improve the quality of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's true. I mean, it's it's an unfortunate aspect of it, but it's true. Like, positive comments are not that's true, productively but, beneficial. But I, I think I think the, the the thing is there's, like, a false dichotomy here where it's, it's you're, you're saying that, like, a positive comment is in relation like doesn't have any value in relation to like a negative comment because most of the time or like actually yeah most of the time an, an entirely straight up negative comment isn't helpful either criticism right. doesn't necessarily imply yeah. that it's a negative comment it i mean you could i guess imply that it or you could you could No you're right i am generalizing so. it too much that's what the but, problem is i'm saying like there there are positive comments that contain criticism and those are the best yeah, Those are the yeah, best right. possible comments. Like, uh, like the 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 reason that we have a toucan on the screen. I mean, I think that's objectively made this magic episode better for all the viewers. <laughs> there's this adorable toucan I don't being. Think you having a toucan on the screen though had anything to do with the comment about darkening your screen. <laughs> I mean, it does kind of like they 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 you know like you gotta read the subtext, Austin. Oh, okay. So he said like you know have a darker screen so it's easier on the <laughs> eyes, which means put a toucan on the yeah. screen. Like the butterfly effect of the magic series. Mm -hmm. Are it's toucans the symbol wrong. of darkness? They, yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, uh, right after you. Wow. I, uh, I'm, oh my god, a death emo x upper score x underscore x. What? Is this a username? Yeah, I was trying to go for something like that. Oh. Uh. We want to see like a Photoshop challenge of an emo toucan, I think, because they have like a rainbow bill. Mm, like, very colorful. difficult colorful yeah. bill so like that makes them kind of inherently happier they don't actually have a rainbow bill right that's just they don't have orange that's just in my mind that they do that's that. just the fruit loops <laughs> yeah, mascot. Yeah. <laughs> i don't think he even does have i'm pretty sure he just has yeah. a red bill i don't think I any do. of them do i think that's yeah. entirely that made up from? i don't know yeah, he, just, he just made up a mystical and, fantasy creature and, that has a giant rainbow bill. why why did we go along with you for so long i, I realized <laughs> Yeah, I think they might. Just seconds after I said it that that's just stupid, and yet it just came out anyway. <laughs> you know, know, here's the thing. There are some weird creatures that exist that are, like, totally out of some, like, old mythical folklore. Like a old fucking narwhal. Yeah. Like a narwhal. Why do narwhals exist? Are they so fucking weird? Evolutionary mishaps. Yeah, pretty weird. Isolated right. uh, evolutionary areas. We're going to do some fucking 180s right here, because there is right. a toucan that has a rainbow bill. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's the keel build toucan. Its bill is green, blue, orange, red, with some black stripes as well. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if I knew about that and it was subconsciously there, or if I just made it up and coincidentally. There oh no, one. you totally knew about that. If you look oh. at pictures of this, this this is on like every travel poster to go to any country in Central right. America. Right. So like, I maybe I thought of that, and then I was like, but wait a minute, everyone that I can think of in my head right now has an orange bill. So now the real question is, is the Fruit Loops toucan one of those toucans? I'm pretty sure he has a red bill. Yeah. Oh, is this orange, okay. red, and Off pink? the top of your head without Googling it, and then we'll find out the real answer here. What color do you think it, uh, Sam the Toucan's bill is? I, I just Follow your nose you wherever it goes. I, I, I did just say it, though. I think it's orange, red, and pink. That orange, would be red, and pink sounds wow, right to me. you guys uh, are fucking good, man. I know. I, that's I, amazing. Wait, how do you know? Have you looked it up yet? No. Oh, right. Yeah, look at that. Well, hey, you didn't offer black as a part of the bill, even though, yes, it's not a color, but I mean, come on, give me a break. It's a value, here. actually. Yeah. I thought it was just solid black. That's yeah. Not, 
No, it's got the front part of it is like, or the the back part of it has like red and pink, and it's like orange for his mouth. Huh. Yeah, it's real weird. I changed uh, my Twitter profile picture to Toucan Sam for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nick, uh, I'm yeah, personally hi. trying to get into creating YouTube content since that sh- seemed less stressful than uh, Twitch. To start off with. <laughs> 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 what did you just comment? do? <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry, I became Rick from Rick and Morty for a second here. Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> were you squeezing your belly as you were talking? <laughs> no, I had a burp going as I was doing the sentence, and I figured I'd just roll with it instead okay. of stopping. I'm um, really interested in YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So it seemed less stressful than Twitch to start off with, but I'm struggling to make my commentary sound entertaining. Most of what I'm saying seems to be reactionary, and I'm having trouble uh, trying to stay entertaining while also playing a game. Do you have any tips on the subject? You should burp more, apparently. Yeah, you yeah. just burp. So, like, I don't know if I'm the best person to necessarily ask this question of considering I don't really think that I'm the most entertaining person out of the large community that I hang out with. Uh, I think if I fall anywhere, I, I try to be more... Um, you know, just kind of myself and chill out and, you know, just talk. But I think just, you know, be yourself, and that's at least a start. And then just take a lot of time and just keep talking and talking and talking, and eventually you'll find things to say. Mm. Here's a uh, let's get real piece of advice, which is going to make me sound super shitty, but I'm okay with that. You be yourself. That's definitely the way to go. But sometimes you aren't entertaining. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people need to hear that, and I'm sorry about it, but like I don't even want to take a uh, you know holier than thou approach to it either, because I sucked and sometimes still do suck, as far as that's concerned. But some people just shouldn't be doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but I feel like that's not said because it might be discouraging to some people. It doesn't apply to. Yeah, you know, you've got to test the waters a little bit before you know, right? Because when I started, I... I was absolutely awful, and I had no chance. And I gave yeah. myself some time, and I found some way to do it that made sense to me. And I'm still doing it, and it's been years. So, like, if I would have just heard that and stopped at the, the beginning, I would have never still been doing this. It's like, I, I don't want to... I, I know it sounds super shitty. Like, I realize right now it sounds super shitty, but I'm, I'm equating it to something like... So, like, say you try basketball, and you play yeah. basketball for a little while. If you play basketball for, like, six months... You have a pretty damn good idea of how good you are at basketball, especially if you've done it on a regular right. basis. Same thing goes here. If you make YouTube videos for like, it, it doesn't even have to be nearly that long. It'd be for like a month that you make YouTube videos. And if you feel like you're not improving and if you feel like what you make, like you are your best audience also. So if you watch that and you're not entertained by it and you don't think you're doing a good job, just try something else. Like there are many, many other creative outlets to pursue. YouTube doesn't have to be the one. Well, and the other way to frame it is you don't necessarily have to be strictly entertaining. There are methods of doing YouTube that don't involve being entertaining. You can be analytical. Mm -hmm. You could be someone who is sort of craft-minded and perhaps uh, is skillful in some very specific Mm -hmm. niche. Oh, yeah. Maybe you could do map-making or speed-running or, you know, any number of things. Specifically speed-running. I mean... It's a a hook. You gotta have a hook. Hey, full circle. But Yeah, Yeah, that's a great point, too. If you're not entertaining, try other skills that you have and try to apply them to YouTube. Like, if you're set on YouTube then find a way to make it fit your personality better. Because like Nick said, if being yourself maybe means being like very in-depth and detailed about just even maybe just like one particular game that you know a ton about, then go that route with it. I I will say that uh, in in terms of like speedrunning and and the skill aspect, it's not unheard of like to not be interesting and still be popular. Like a lot of the, not a lot, but a good chunk of the top speedrunners and a good chunk of top esports personalities are very uninteresting people, yet they're still extremely popular because of their skill. Mm-hmm. And yep. uh, it, it's, it's not unheard of. It's actually very possible, too. I, if you are very good at a game and you put the effort towards it, whether it be speedrunning or some kind of eSport, you will eventually get some ground if you are, you know, right. very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, I, I think sure. a, a lot of the message I wanted to send was if you don't have any of the skills or abilities relevant to making YouTube videos, then you shouldn't do it. Which is kind of who I wanted to send that very broad message to with the first thing I said was mm-hmm. there's some also, folks that probably shouldn't do it. Important to note, I, I don't know if this is true of all of us. It, it is true to a lesser extent for all of us, I know. But, um, like, Alpaca Patrol isn't exactly Rob. And, yeah. 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 like, molding that persona is, 
you know, it, it, it does take time. And it's also a thing that, like, you know, it, Rob's probably not terribly entertaining all the time. Whereas I hope that I, or I, I seek to make Alpaca Patrol entertaining all the time with energy and hopefully jokes or being an idiot and stuff. You know, but, you, you know, you could also mold a persona that is a caricature of yourself, and that also is an avenue for... And it's still you. Right? It is still you, yeah. I mean, like, it, it, like I, I'm not entirely, like, I'm, I'm not entirely Rob or, or what have you. It's, you know, it's a square and a rhombus type of deal. It's you know, not all, not all Rob's are Alpaca Patrol, but <laughs> all Alpaca Patrol's are Rob's. Can you draw a Venn so. diagram representing that? Right. Yeah. No. Inside no. I can't. No, you can't see because it's oh. it's non Euclidean. It's, two, it's not yeah, possible. That's, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So that if there's that's anything you should question. take away from it is that personas are non Euclidean. So there you go, <laughs> Lord Crimson. There it is. I personas hope, I hope that can find the clitoris. Yeah. Personas <laughs> can find the clitoris. We were on our way to some really helpful advice there. I'm really glad we decided to go the no, other I mean, way. We, <laughs> we keep it light here on magic. Come on now. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we keep it light on the clitoris because if you go too hard, too heavy, too long, it's going to yeah. get really, sore. Yeah, she's not going to like it. Yeah. Uh, this is the real advice, man. This is the it, stuff it, people need to know. Yeah. Be very gentle. I mean, you know, you, you can you can work it in there, but I mean, you, know you got to be, be more entertaining too. on YouTube. Well, you got to go really light on the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many nerve endings. If you stimulate them all, you're going to have freaking yeah. overdrive. It's and like it's like ten times so that of the head of a penis. So I mean, you gotta go. Have real you seen light the full structure? Head. It actually wraps around the interior of the vagina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's very dangerous. So does my dick. Hey. Hey. Oh, ripped. <laughs> um, so here's another question. Uh, learning a lot of the video and audio stuff is intimidating in its own right, but the thought of getting so excited about something and then I have to constantly uh, be constantly entertaining while I'm playing a game, that's terrifying. Um, and I think it, this sort of just ties into the last point, where it's like, that can come with time. Um, Certainly, yeah. but it, yeah, but, but it is, it, it like, it's one of those things that, I mean, even I, when I first started, like, didn't realize how much other stuff happens in the periphery while you're recording or streaming or doing whatever. There's, there's a bunch of stuff while also trying to maintain a steady stream of consciousness thought. If you, um, if you want a good idea, I would say go to each of our channels and look at the first gaming video that we ever put up for each of our yeah. channels. And you will get a very good impression of where pretty much everybody starts on yeah. YouTube. All awful. It's terrible. You yeah. know, what's funny is actually YouTube's a really good introduction to doing Twitch because it's like several steps removed from the amount of information overdrive that happens on Twitch. And it sort of lets you get into the free-flowing speaking pattern. Because mm -hmm. then you've got to deal with, you know, we've got a constant chat log we're monitoring. There's sometimes notifications popping up in various places. We're monitoring the game. We're actually playing the game while talking. Also watching uh, your OBS or whatever your output is to make sure things are going there. Sometimes you're watching like a donation tracker or Twitter. It could be five or six things all happening at the same time while still speaking and responding and trying to maintain some level of, you know, in the moment. It's very overwhelming. YouTube doesn't have all of those things, so it's a nice step into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, someone's asking, as a general rule, how to grow. And I think we kind of covered this on the last episode, too, where it's like... That was like the whole, yeah, the whole basis. A, a, a lot of the times, it's it's a shot in the dark. Well, I like, thought they were no, like talking about their penis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just well, pull it. Pop well, it. You, no, you, no, no, you no, all you there. gotta do... No, you, all, you, you brought the good advice back to penises. <laughs> it's perfect. I, that, no, all, all you really have to do if you if you really really want to grow um, your penis, you got to click on those links <laughs> in your emails that say Hundreds grow your of penis them. in six days. Easy, <laughs> just the quickest way. Just grow your penis in six days. Um, right. No, but he says, but he says like so uh, like people say posts on Reddit and forums and stuff like that, and I only look at places and think where. Um, I mean, like there are loads of. I mean, like he said, he plays a lot of Isaac. So there are loads of forums uh, regarding w with regards to like like specific games. Um, I don't know Isaac specifically. I know the subreddit, um, and and to varying success, people have had success with um, like content that they put up on Reddit itself. Even even in the Isaac community, I think now you can't just put up a random let's play. But in the early days of me doing Isaac back when Wrath of the Lamb came out like years ago. Um, 
I didn't necessarily put up like you know, let's play number sixty nine of my of my Wrath of the Lamb series. I put up like, hey, look at this cool weird combo that I got, you know. And then yeah. uh, usually I tried to supplant commentary over it, um, so that hopefully people go there not just for like, hey, cool combo, but then also are like, oh, I kind of like that guy's voice. I might listen to more if he has more YouTube videos. And I did, and then I continued to grow, so. That would be my strategy as well. Try and find your niche in the community, try and create some content that's a little bit different from everyone else, and then try and make it known that you're doing this, and to what schedule you're doing it on, so that way people can know to come back. And if you get in the right circles with the right group of people, eventually somebody will take notice, so hopefully, and, and make it, you know, kind of as a exponential growth thing, they'll maybe let other people know. Mm -hmm. But it's all about community. It's not so much about just brute forcing it by yourself. I think, you know, if I didn't have people to talk to about the stuff I'm doing, a lot of this stuff would just go completely unnoticed, or at least especially when I'm starting out. And and actually, that's that's part of that what you just said kind of goes into what he said. He's he's been living in the zero to five viewer lands, and he streams like three to four hours, um, like a day and stuff, and it doesn't really get any growth. But yeah, like if you're if you're out on your own in like the desolate landscape of natural discovery on Twitch, then it, like honestly, Twitch and YouTube especially does not really support natural discovery for people anymore like uh, twitch does not as much uh youtube really does it like it's impossible to find small videos on youtube now especially and it's way too late to yeah. try to get into the game if that's yeah. gonna be your approach yeah exactly it's, it's, it's impossible. kind of a ship has sailed thing unfortunately um, i don't think that's true I think if you're the right person in if the right context, there might be some be lifeboats floating around. There, but. there are a few, but I mean, like those are like super. I think that like if you want to do just like I'm not going to do any outside networking work, and I just want to put out videos and hopefully people will watch them. You have to be super specifically new geared games with new communities. Yeah. Every time there's a new game with a new community, somebody's going to jump in and somebody's going to become the next whoever of that game. I don't know if that's true because I mean the majority of like the big YouTubers now are variety channels and they yeah, tend like to they're hog up the they're established search. channels that YouTube is gonna promote because they're already established and the search functionality works around that too. Right, exactly. It's, Everybody's I mean, playing nearly every game now these days. It's like, like I, I, we I think we were more specifically saying along the lines of what Rob was getting at. If you're just going to try to solo brute force your way into the scheme of things, then it's a mm. bit too late for that because it's you do gonna, need to build yeah. around community at this point. Yeah, yeah, you really do. Because, I mean, like, even if, you, even if you're trying to do it that way, like, with just how search rankings are, you know, the, the first page of any video game tends to be, like, one popular YouTuber's 10 episodes of a Let's mm. Play. Like, who's going, who's going back 20 pages to find some random guy, yeah. you know? I, I do want to say though, if it sounds like you said that he was in four to five viewer land, if if you're in four to five viewer land, you've already made a bigger step than you think getting out of zero viewer land. You've That's already true. you've already made a huge step if you don't even know it. Like uh, getting to even a solid you know single digit number is extremely difficult these days. So you've made a big step. Uh, you're yeah. on the right track, obviously. True, true. Although he he has been saying that he uh, did this for over two years now. And he's upset that the, you know, the growth hasn't been great over the course of the two years. And but but still, Austin's point stands. I mean, it's still better than zero. And it's a it's a mountain. It's a mountain getting from zero to any amount, mm -hmm. um, especially now. I mean, I can't imagine starting off now again. Um, it's it's really hard. Um, <clears throat> We're kind of sugarcoating the fact that it might not happen. And that's just yeah. kind of a reality you have to embrace. Yeah, I don't know why I mean, I'm deciding to be an asshole today. I just feel like these yeah. are the things that people need to hear sometimes. Well, I mean, it might hey, not happen. I mean, uh, uh, we we all knew that going in as well when we started. Like, we we all started at a point where YouTube wasn't entirely young either. I mean, yeah. we we all started when it was starting to become like a really big thing, but it wasn't totally a super big thing yet. Or or YouTube wasn't yet gearing like hey here's a uh, pewdiepie channel right next to the gaming channel on xbox one so watch all of his videos and then you could watch everyone else's videos on youtube yeah the algorithm well. was in its last stages of actually being decent when we started yeah but a few months later it got stabbed into the ground and murdered yeah. horribly 
here's uh, here's a here's a couple of questions. Uh, what mic do you use, and do you have any tips for not picking up loud keyboard controller sounds in the mic, or is that just really not an issue with good quality mics? Um, did this? I think I read. Did this guy also say he had a group of people who were going to be streaming? I didn't read the rest of the question yet. So. I think so. I think I read this comment. I think he was actually mentioning he had a group of friends who were going to stream. Just read my answers because I already answered them on a point by point basis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, as a, but as a, as a general rule for like everybody listening to the video, not no, necessarily the the comments. Um, uh, yeah, there's there's loads. Of, I mean, like Nick uses a, a blue Nessie, which is a Snowball mic, right? And well, that, Snowball I mean, is another blue mic. It's a blue brand mic. Okay. But, yeah. I go on at the end to say, well, if you really want to, you know, be worried about click clacking on your keyboard, you need an arm, and mm -hmm. this one doesn't have that, so it's not ideal. But I don't think it's actually that like it's intolerable. Not that Honestly, like here's here's how it works. This is how it works in in um, in anything regarding to audio too. Um, it's like really easy to get from fucking shit to all right. To pretty like, good. Yeah, and and then, but getting from pretty good to great is like you 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 might get like 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 getting from shit to good is like you're ninety percent of the way there, and that's that that's like a like a ten fifteen dollar investment if you really yeah. want to do that. Um, it to get from good to great is like you get like five percent quality improvement for your viewers and yourself, um, but. It costs a lot more, and it's 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 not something that you should have to really really sweat too much. As yeah. long as you're not like crackling on your mic and clipping it and doing a bunch of really awful shit, so that it's like impossible to listen to, you don't have to worry about like amazing audio quality, especially but when you're starting out. If you have the money to spend, oh yeah, uh, get a nice USB condenser microphone. You can't. It's yeah. really hard to go wrong with those. Um, and yeah, I would condenser recommend unidirectional too you don't want an omnidirectional mic because if you have an omnidirectional mic then like you're gonna hear the fucking construction work yeah, outside it serves and not... you no purpose at all listen i bet you can even hear the difference right now so, too so check this out so this is unidirectional right now and then hold on and now this is omnidirectional now you can hear, mm, you hear his voice bouncing off all the walls and hitting the mic yeah. from different angles yeah. so it's just a huge increase in reverb you don't mm -hmm. want that yeah yeah, also unidirectional does stuff like this. Like here's a snap. Here's a snap over behind the mic. Same amount mm -hmm. of distance, but you can hear the difference. Mm -hmm. Um and you, you like you, you still hear the sounds, like the, the, the background sounds, but they're much lower and much easier to just, you know, not pay attention to because in theory your voice should override all of that stuff and you do have to have a steady stream of commentary if you're doing like YouTube let's plays. Not as much on Twitch, I think, but still depends what you're doing. Yeah, it does. Yeah. If you have room too, I would recommend just a, like a stage mic arm if you need an arm. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't have room, then you'd want to get an actual arm that attaches to a table right, or a wall. Yeah, but, that's again getting into the gr good to great stage, which is like you're talking two hundred and fifty dollar investment potentially for yeah. something like that. I think right. there's well, like there's, a stage, there's a stage three arm tiers. is going to be like forty bucks. But yeah, the mic to attach one. to it. Yeah, but the mic. Oh, yeah, the mic to be like $200, <laughs> right. <laughs> there's like three like, tiers of it. So there's Awful, which is built-in microphone on your laptop. There's oh, oh, okay to decent, which is like a twenty dollar USB stand on your desk mic, which really does make a pretty dramatic improvement already, and that's usually okay for getting started. Mm -hmm. And then there's the pretty good tier, which is like I'd say honestly, like what I have right now still falls on the pretty good tier. So I've got a Rode microphone arm with a pop filter, a mic sock, and a blue Yeti microphone, and this is pretty good. And then there's the quality where you're spending like thousands of dollars oh, for like yeah. what Rob pro, said is the pro five percent. You, you have yeah, like yeah. a mixer, you a just compressor, have a preamp, tables. and and for the for the sake of like a YouTube let's play, like sh straight up the the five like yes, it will be like a five percent quality improvement, but people aren't going to care that much mm -hmm. um, unless you have like a really really like good voice and you really want to like show that shit off. Um, but other than that, it, I don't oh. know. It's not. Or unless you want to shriek into your mic and you need a way to make it not sound absolutely yeah. intolerable. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. I, I still have that problem. I tend to you yell sometimes, to. and it, yeah. I, I, a compressor would be nice, but I don't have the technological skill to use a compressor yet. I use a, I use a mixer right now as well, but I don't. By use, I mean my microphone is plugged into it. 
<laughs> and that's, that's 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 pretty much all I do with the, with the whole mixing. It would be impossible to actually audio mix while playing a game unless I had a like a an actual sound mixer near me. Yeah, okay. And also, you can't really mix without a script. So yeah, really, though, but we script all of these magic episodes. So it's right, pretty easy we do. To do that. That's yeah. <laughs> so you know, was like, that another one that Bear was a part of the script? I've, I've an older one. one. So it's been it's been it's been a long running joke. We do them every several months of. The I thought somebody series. actually accused you guys of scripting the episodes. That no, would be we accused ourselves actually. and confirmed yeah. ourselves. Yeah, yeah. confirmed. Uh, That's just any a compliment. Tips, <laughs> any <laughs> tips for scheduling streaming at certain times? Should I just stream whenever I want and hope people tune in, or establish a schedule like what you guys do with the NLSS? Maybe do a bit of both. How important is that when schedule. starting? Yeah. Schedule, schedule, yeah. schedule. Never not important. Well, I say I, I, I'd say that it is important for like for me. I, I think it's super important. Like I, I stick to a really strict schedule. That said. Um, a lot of people get away with not a super strict schedule, um, with like a light schedule. Like I'll start streaming around, you know, cam. five to eight on Mondays or something. Where yeah, they can, but or, or, or like a, like a really popular guy like Man vs. Game. I like, feel it only have applies a... to popular streamers, though. Not necessarily. I, I mean, mean like, if you're starting it... out, you don't have to conform to a schedule at all. But yeah. if you can have a schedule, there's yes. no reason not to have a schedule. That's that's true. Or do yeah. both. Don't. Don't build your schedule around what you think your audience needs. Build your schedule around yes. what you can do, and then There's just try to find an audience there. Always people watching on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's mean, true too. Prime time is prime time, but trying to compete in prime time is almost impossible. And there's right. time zones. There's people all around the world. Yeah, in, there's so a, there's always people. Somebody watching. there. Yeah, you can you can hit huge viewership at different parts of the day of because prime times happen I, all around the world. I would even say different. that avoiding American prime times uh, is actually good for uh, early streamer because there's going to be less competition at those times. Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, streaming early during the day is is probably a pretty good spot. Sundays too, actually, because nobody streams on Sunday. Sundays are great. I saw it was a really small streamer that I happened to have raided and then like stuck around in their stream for the whole night. And it was like five or six a.m., and we went from like eighty viewers to like almost two hundred or something. And I guess it was people that were waking up and wanted something to watch in the morning before they went to work or school. So yeah. it's like there's a weird time slot you don't really think of. Stream like at twilight in like fucking morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, there's something they... to be said for that. I don't know. There's yeah. a streamer on our team made menu, uh, Alaskan Savage. He starts around twelve thirty or one o'clock in the morning. And streams through to like seven or eight a.m., yeah. and you can see his viewer counts will just continue to go up through those twilight hours. Especially yeah. considering like he'll get raids and stuff through then, and the people that are raiding into him, like there's no one else to watch at that right. point. So it's not, it's not like they're gonna go off of him and go find someone else because he's there like the go. only person live a in lot, their interest group. A lot of people uh, like to watch Twitch at work as well. When they're getting to work, so if they were literally the all hours of the day, basically by your description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, People yeah, love to watch Twitch while they eat dinner. People love to watch Twitch instead of sleeping. People love to watch people, Twitch before work. People like watching it's Twitch after true. six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and during. Yeah, during <laughs> cigarette and Twitch stream. And they'll tell you, us about you it. You can't tell me someone hasn't been having sex during an LSS. I wouldn't believe you. No, no, they, people right. have told us that they have. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many people jerk off to my stream. Oh God, don't! <laughs> See, you had to take it there because that that becomes personal. So I hope it was at least a few. My strategy is that I've got kind of both things going on. Like when I do the NLSS, that's a very rigid schedule. It's always the same every time. So there's a little bit of a built-in viewership there. Sometimes I do uh, a stream directly after that to kind of continue off of that, and then other times I just do random streams outside of that with no real actual. Uh, scheduling, but I, I announce them on Twitter every time, so that helps a little bit. Ideally, I'd want to make a video about it on YouTube, but I don't because that's a lot more work than I think I'm willing to put in. But it would be helpful if I did. Also, here's the thing: as you as you continue streaming, you'll learn that there are going to be just every time you stream, there's going to be a, a couple moments like once a month where it's like, oh, this is a cool new program that I'll boot up before my stream for something that'll be handy during the stream. So by the time that you've been doing it for a couple of months, you're booting up like 10, 12 different programs yeah. and pages to set up your things. And I don't do this, 
But I've gotten this, I've, I've heard this advice, make a batch file. It's super easy to do. I used to make batch files all the time, and it's like basically you just write in a text document, like really simple stuff, like run program whatever, and you click the batch file and it opens up all this shit. Um, and you, you could just, all those clicks can just be turned into just one button um, a lot of the time, so. Yeah, that's, that's, fucking yeah, computer that's program pretty handy. handy. No, it's it's you don't have to use a computer program. You just you, you, it, it's, okay. it's oh okay yeah no but yeah like running a batch file is it's a text document you turn it into a batch file. It's very it's very simple and uh, it's it's really easy uh, to do. Yeah. So that it can always save you a lot of headaches. Fucking sucks when you're streaming and then your power goes out or your shit crashes oh, and then you've got to restart. Yeah. Wait while everyone's fucking writing picnic a hundred million times <laughs> and then just you know launch all that shit again and it takes way longer than you'd expect especially when you feel like you're under pressure to do it fast. Yeah, some and, of them you uh, have to put in some settings and stuff too before you. Get them depends going. what you're doing. Yeah, I usually check everything as well. Man, and then this other time, I had to increase the brightness on my monitor by two <laughs> digits. That was a pain in the ass. You really have my it tough over hard. there. My hard. You really have it tough. Um, uh, someone asked. Uh, well, this is actually the same same uh, question. How important are descriptions? I don't read streamers uh, streamers descriptions, and often Spires. I'm in a minority. Streamers read streamers. <laughs> what kind of stuff should I put in the description? And how much of an impact does it have? Um, it's it's one of those things. It's like a condom. You you wanna you <laughs> you want oh, here here here. You have me, this me, way too pre prepared for me, Rob. <laughs> let, let me let Come me continue on. this metaphor here, um, because a, a condom. How a condom works is. You want to have one and not need it rather than need one and not have it. I think that's the general rule, honestly, with descriptions as well. Like, I don't think most people read the descriptions. But in the rare cases in which people do use the descriptions, which I do from time to time when I'm lurking in a stream, um, it's important to have one. It's, it's, it's good to have, um, like, a bunch of information about where they can find you, what they can do for you, with you, uh, when you're streaming, all, all of that, all the relevant information, rules especially, um, but uh, all, all the relevant information having to do with you and your brand down there and making it look pretty doesn't hurt either. Think about how many times you will have answered those questions over the course of months that you could have just said, oh yeah, I got the answer to that right below the video window. It's a girl, they'll ask you in Twitch chat. I didn't, I didn't hear what you said because my headphones. Oh, there we go. Uh, we, right, we, we, that's the end of the episode. Everyone. No, it's, been, do, it's been doing that intermittently. I've missed a bunch of points that you guys have made, so, <laughs> you know. I just said it's nice to not have to repeat yourself, which ironically really <laughs> works out. That is pretty funny. Um, but uh, I hate you so much. Yeah. No, but uh, but yeah, it's a, a good uh, a good tip like actually for uh, for streamers and uh, YouTube like video. Uh, have some fucking <laughs> headphones that work. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's really out. helpful, especially if you're doing videos cool. with a group. Who really hate repeating themselves a lot, <laughs> and yeah, we meet yeah. up like twice a week on Mondays and Fridays, and every time it's still a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> General, I sound salty, don't I? I didn't, I didn't mean it to sound that <laughs> you're, salty. You're allowed to be salty. This is a long one, so you guys talk about pooping on airplanes while I while I read this. And yeah, no, it's fine. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, uh, no. I assume no. we're probably getting close to the end of the the Twitch comments. Yes. Uh, here's well, there's a long. Story yeah, feel free. Go and, go and, into and it. it. Well, I'm, I'm not going to read the story, but it, but there's um, there's a, a, a question that comes out of it, which is, um, I don't understand why random people come in, say hello, and leave. I notice it, try to communicate with the viewer, but he, she just leaves. What was the point yeah. of trying to communicate if you leave right away? Um, so it's probably the delay. Most likely, people just expect immediate gratification, maybe don't know Twitch very well. They, uh, they say something, you're like, oh, well, I'm not really super dedicated to this channel later. Yeah, that's that, that's possible too. I think I think also it's that people have an extremely low attention span on uh, yeah, too. on Twitch, and the thing too is that um, you know you can't you can't hope that every viewer stays is the is the general rule. I mean, you, 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 viewers are gonna come and go, and sometimes come back. Um, but, come again. Yeah, come again, and then go away again, and then come back another time, and then go away for a little bit, but then they'll come back yeah. for a short period of time, and then they'll stay for a really long time, and then go away, and then they might come back after that. All right, I think we get the point. Oh, okay. So, um, but no, but like, like, like in general, <laughs> don't, don't. Here's here's one thing because I see this on some small streams. 
don't be like super duper desperate about viewers because it, it's kind of off-putting like i see some people and 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 don't get me wrong some some people make it work i guess but um i've seen some people have like a bot that like greets people when they walk Ooh, in don't do that I, absolutely I, like that's a extreme yeah. no no <laughs> yeah and and the reason for that is you really have to keep in mind that 80 percent and this is a real number like 80 percent of the internet lurks they don't want to know they don't want to be known to be there unless they actively make their presence known and that's okay that's yeah lurking's that's... not a negative term it just sounds very negative whenever people say it lurking is just not yeah. talking in chat just sort of silently watching the stream in case you don't know yeah, and it's and it's eighty percent of the internet. Most people don't like. It's like uh, I forget the breakdown I saw a long time ago was like eighty percent of the internet just don't post anything on the internet. They don't comment. They don't create content. And then like twenty eight percent post comments, and then like two percent um, actually make any content for the internet. So like when you when you out somebody who's planning on just like showing up at at a stream and seeing if they like it 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 does get a little bit weird um, i've actually i've had a, a little off. reticence about using things like favorite notifications or follower notifications i find that to be a little bit off putting personally i understand you want to have a celebration when you're starting out it's like hey you've joined the group of whatever we're calling ourselves but if you just want to kind of quietly watch and you're putting the the heart there for your own sake Maybe you don't want to call attention to yourself. Yeah, there's no opt out either for people if they w don't want the thing to show up and make a big fuss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Do you guys have any yeah, preferences on follower notifications? Um, I think uh, I don't know. Um, I I, 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 so much. I I agree with what you're saying. I, I I didn't think about that in the same way. Um, but uh, for smaller channels, I don't think it's a huge deal. But I I wouldn't do it. I think the yeah, follower notification get mad at for someone. smaller channels is like the subscriber notification. It is. For oh, I know. And, and I think that's okay in those cases, right? Because it's like, if you don't have a subscribe button, you could have something to celebrate. And honestly, it, it, it makes more people want to follow as well. I suppose. Um, so, for the most part. Like, the majority most, of people see that. And, and I think most streamers follow. don't really, like, make a huge deal out of it either. It's usually just like, hey, so-and-so, thank you for the follow. <laughs> have you seen mm. Cam? <laughs> yeah, I've seen oh, a few people right, I do. Yeah. No, what does he do? I yeah. mean, he has uh oh shit, shake that ass play, and then he dances a lot. I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> it's like the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, you can make it your own for sure. But um, I think the the main one though is like if people just come in to lurk, don't yeah, don't. Just, don't shout them out. That's, that's I I went into a chat that did that on a channel I wasn't planning on chatting in, and I kind of just immediately left. <laughs> I it's was actually, just like, uh, I have it's to, an objective yeah. negative to do that for all the reasons you've stated, and then also in the event that you happen to end up with someone really famous in your chat that doesn't want to be drawn attention to, and you mention them, all of a sudden, they're never coming back again. Right? Yeah. They're going to go, yeah. oh, shit. So they're going to, like, make a fuss out of me being here. I guess I'm just not going to watch this person. Just don't, yeah, don't shout out anyone in your in lurking in your <laughs> chat. I, I don't want to make a specific point, and I, I won't mention who it was because I honestly don't remember, but... Um, I went into someone's stream and they had one of those because I just wanted there was just some game I forget what it was and um, and then and then they had that thing and they shouted me out and they were like oh I know I know who you are bloody blah, blah like you're actually if I remember you're actually bloody blah, blah or whatever and it's just like I don't yeah you're not always like, in the mood to talk and then either. Something that, yeah, I, I lurk most of the time, honestly. Like when I go on Twitch, most of the time I just lurk on streams. I don't I don't interact with anything unless I'm streaming myself or it's like my friend stream or something. Even on my friend streams, I usually just lurk. Um, but yeah, I mean, like in in that specific case too, it was like, and then the chat said like, oh yeah, like like a couple of people would be like, oh yeah, I know that guy, and it's like, hey, and like hey, that that's that's really cool at the same time, right? Like I, I like that that. You know, sometimes I'm a name that's recognized. That's 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 interesting, and I actually really like that in video games. Um, but when it's in a Twitch stream, then it it shifts focus, and I I didn't have a chance to like view you, and I don't know. It just gets kind of weird, and it, it's especially weird, I think, for for people who aren't even like regular Twitch streamers. They're just regular Twitch lurkers, and they have yeah. to get shouted out, and they don't want that as well. So. That's know. a pretty hard and fast rule with me, like, that I wish more people would just say that that's a rule. Like, just don't acknowledge lurkers or people that don't want to talk. Yeah. You don't Let gain anything from it. 
Yeah, like, li li it's, I mean, the majority... <laughs> fuck, the majority of the people who watch these videos lurk. Yeah. Um, and, like, the and the vast majority. And that's cool. I Like, that's good. I, I don't... Not everybody well, necessarily has a thing to say that they want to say or that they feel yeah. like saying at all. It's slightly so. different on YouTube compared to Twitch where it's an actual dynamic, like, living, moving thing. On YouTube, if someone gets shouted out, they could like I could delete the comment and maybe they'll just never, you know, notice it. <laughs> they might not right. come back and see it anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I feel like we've covered a lot of good points. Yeah. Uh, I think that's like all the bear fell asleep. Come <laughs> <laughs> here. <Let me> know. <laughs> You just kind of like what? lifted up your sombrero. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I, I was letting y'all have your time, man. I talk too much. Mm. Oh, yeah. duh. Oh. duh, duh, God damn it, duh. God. Duh. humbug. God. So yeah. yeah also, I, mean, I think that's pretty much all the questions that yeah. I could read. Um, just hey, if you guys over. want to ask more questions about whatever, feel free. We might read yeah. them and, and do another segment like this next time if you want. Doesn't yeah, have to be about Twitch and YouTube. It doesn't. Yeah, I would actually prefer that it wasn't. To be honest, I don't mind like, if it is. I kind of enjoy talking about this stuff. I do too, but it feels like I'm sucking my own dick all the time. And oh yeah, well, I don't like. Somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't get any action. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. Thanks for watching it. Magic. Sad. Bye, oh, everybody. Bear's going to outro us. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>